I'll be showing the brand new Stream that just rolled out as part of Microsoft 365. Stream is the video solution that allows recording of videos, including screen recording, sharing, editing, and making them available for your entire organization to see. There are a ton of updates, both in the web version and mobile, so let's get started. Now this is the brand new Stream on SharePoint, as it's called, where all your files are stored in your OneDrive instead of this customized Stream classic site where it used to be. You can even see in the upper right here, it says welcome to stream on SharePoint and there's a way to get back to the older stream. But we're gonna look at this new stream landing page. The way to think about it is now stream automatically records all videos and stores videos in your OneDrive. And that means all the benefits of OneDrive, including just seeing your files right here. I've got a bunch of different files. I can see recently opened, I can see shared, or I can see my favorites right here. There's also some recommended videos that pop up. So now in the same way that you can search or filter by keyword and all the great things you have in OneDrive already, all of that works for your stream videos, which is actually a pretty big benefit. If you're not seeing this new stream on SharePoint experience yet, it might mean your IT admin hasn't yet converted from Stream Classic. There's a link in this video description that'll show exactly how to do that. So make sure the IT admin converts to the new stream. I would say the most exciting new update we have is the new stream screen recorder. So right here in the upper left, there's this big new recording button. Now I'm gonna click this. Here I am in the new stream recorder. Now this uses the advanced flip camera technology. It can do a bunch of cool stuff. First, let's choose a background. I don't want my boring blinds. I'm gonna choose a backdrop. So click here and I've got video backgrounds I can choose. And I can also choose some of these. See, there's some from Teams. I've got some balloons. I'm gonna choose a classroom right here. That's kind of nice. Now I'm gonna close this. You can also go into the lower right. So I'm gonna have myself a little smaller. I'm gonna to flip to the left. I just click here and flip over to the left. Now the other thing is you can change your camera and other microphone options. So in the upper right, I click here, turn my camera off. If I just wanna have audio only, turn it back on. I can mute my microphone or I can choose the three dot menu and I can choose to change my camera have a couple options if you have multiple cameras or multiple microphones or even mirror your video. So flip your video the other way like this and then back again. Now the other cool thing is you can write. So I'm gonna click draw and I'm gonna draw, in this case, hey, I got a blackboard here. I'm gonna say, hey, how you doing? Hi. And you can change some of the options on the thickness and the colors so you can scribble on your screen as you're writing. The other nice thing is there's a little board options. So if I click here, I'm gonna have a nice board have a couple different options, graph or notebook paper or even stars. You can choose what you want. So if you're explaining things, you can be writing right there on the board and pointing next to things as you're recording, a bunch of different options. You can even upload your own photo as a background as well. I'm just gonna keep it simple here. And in this case, I'm gonna turn off my board. So I'll hit close. Now I'm gonna click here to start recording and I'm just gonna do a little bit. So get a countdown. Hello, I'm here in the classroom and I am demonstrating the new stream recorder. It uses the flip camera technology. Click this when you're done. And now I can go and I can retake this or I can hit next. So if I wanna retake this, I can do it again. In this case, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna do a retake and show how to do a screen capture, which is different than having the video on me like this. So I'll hit retake and I'll say, yeah, I wanna delete this clip. Now in this case, I'm gonna click the left button, which is record my screen. So I'll click here. Now I'm gonna start screen recording and it's gonna let me choose what I wanna capture. So I can go my entire screen. I can just choose a very specific window. I can do my edge windows here or just a specific edge tab if you have a different edge tab. But in this case, I'm gonna do the entire screen and I will choose to share my audio. So maybe you're playing a video on the screen and you wanna share system audio, select the window and choose share. Get my countdown. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna pull up Excel because I wanna do my little Excel demos. For those of you that know me, you know I like to show Excel features. So now I'm clicking and showing Excel and it's all amazing. And when I'm done, I'm gonna go back into stream and we're gonna stop that video recording. Okay, and I could, I could pause it if I want. In this case, I will click stop recording. Now in this case, what I'm so gonna do is- There's I'm everything that was captured Excel. right there. You could even add music. In this case, it looks pretty good, and I'm gonna hit Next. Now it's uploading all of this into OneDrive. Now in this case, what I'm gonna do so is- there is the video Excel. that I just made, and I recorded it, everything looks great. Wow, that's just an amazing video. You know, There was all my Excel demo. It was the best video ever. 
and the information in the lower left right here, I can go and update. So if I wanna change this, I'll call it my screen recording. We'll give it a description, the best demo ever. And I can go here, I'm gonna actually bold and underline that part so you can format a little bit on your description. Hit save. Now I've got a nice description and a title for my video. Now in the upper right are important video settings. I can do a thing like a thumbnail. So I can add a thumbnail here. In this case, maybe I'm gonna upload my own thumbnail really quick. There we go, seven Excel tips in one minute. The about, that's the lower left part. You can turn that on or off. So maybe you don't want people to see any information about views. Maybe you're kind of embarrassed because you have low views, whatever it might be, you can turn that on or off. One of the most powerful parts is the transcript and captions. So you can automatically generate these. It doesn't happen by default, but in this case, I will click generate and I can choose the language I want. So lots of different languages here. And I'll click generate. So it's gonna go off and start generating captions and a transcript for everything in my video. Chapters is off by default, but you could turn that on as well. So if I turn on chapters, I can go here and add different chapters. So I could say chapter one is the introduction is at zero colon zero right here in the beginning. Maybe I wanna add another chapter right here at the 13 second mark. So I'll say new chapter, that's where the Excel demo happens. So there's a couple different chapters that people can jump to when they're watching my video. Go back to video settings, and then you can turn comments on or off, and then there's even noise suppression. And so if you wanna add noise suppression as a default, maybe you're recording something and there was some background noise or kind of loud, you can turn noise suppression on by default. But in this case, I'll let someone else turn it on afterwards. I'm not gonna turn it on by default. So I've added some of these settings to my video and you can do this for any video that you upload in stream because again, this is stored in my OneDrive. I have full control. Next up, I'll show some sharing improvements and there've been some big ones with stream 2.0. So in the upper right here, I will click share and I will just click share right here. Now this is the classic Microsoft SharePoint and OneDrive sharing dialogue. Now big improvement with stream 2.0 is that you can do external guest sharing. If your tenant has added that, your tenant admin has to turn on guest sharing. Now you can send a link to somebody and share that video and they can come directly in and see that video. And there's a link in the description on setting up these guest sharing options, but this has probably been one of the top requests for stream over the years is share my video externally. So if I click here, I have all the different options, you know, anyone, people in Contoso, existing access, people I choose. You can set it to edit or view just the same sharing you get for any file in OneDrive because that's where these are stored now, even setting passwords and blocking downloads. I'll click cancel here. You can also copy the link and you can give specific people you can add right here. So nothing different than you've always had in OneDrive. We'll close this. Go up share again. You can copy the link. You can also copy the link at current time. So right here, you can see it's at 14 seconds. Similar to like you have on YouTube, you can copy the link at a specific time hit copy and now I can send a link so someone jumps just to that point in my video. Another big ask for stream 2.0 has been to add back embed codes and now they've been added back. Now you can get an embed code, click there. There's a little video option. You can say start from a specific time. Maybe I wanna start it for 14 seconds, just like I had earlier, just like that. And I can choose the player size I want. Maybe I wanna have it be a little bit bigger and I can have autoplay on and a couple other options and then the whole embed code is right here. So you can choose to embed this in external blogs, other places, internally as well. If it's external, there'll be a sign-in, so they'll need to be able to have access to be able to see the video. It makes it really easy to embed. I just click copy embed code in the lower right there, and I just paste this wherever I need to embed it. I'll close this. The last one I'll show is manage access. So this is for deeper permissions. If you're a permissions nerd, you can drill in here and you can even go into advanced. And man, you can get old school SharePoint permissions on these files if you want to. So anyways, if you wanna dig around and do even more advanced managing access to permissions, that's the place to do it. Now I've switched over to a person who has access to some videos. This person's name is Alex and he's signed in to stream on his account. He's gonna to go to shared, and it looks like this Reflect in Teams was shared by Kara Coleman, so Alex has access to it. So Alex will open this up. Now here's the video, and in the lower left, I can see it has 19 views. Here's the about information. Looks like there were chapters added, so I can jump around to the different chapters in this video. So if I click on together mode, class. so this gives you oh, it jumps me right to that part of the video, class feeling. which is handy. I can go to transcript, 
And right here is the entire transcript for the video. So very detailed, I can read all of that. That means I can also turn on closed captions when I'm watching the video. So I'll go here and hit play. And there's captions in English because we generate these in English. Settings. I can even change how big this is. So I go medium or large. So a few options, my captions. I'll hit pause. Another nice feature on transcripts is that I have my transcript open here. And if I hit play, it maps to the right hand side. See right here on the right, when I jump ahead, it jumps the transcript. So as I'm jumping, it keeps the transcript open and flowing at the same time. If I wanna scroll up and down, I can do all that. Or if I wanna just sync back to the video, I click sync to video and it jumps me right in here. It's at 731, so it's right about here where that video is going. Really great and inclusive. Noise suppression options are here. So if I wanted to enable noise suppression as I'm watching the video, I can go there. And then I can go full screen really easy like this or go back. Over on the right hand side, if I want to see comments for this video, I go here and there are some of the comments that have been added by other people who have watched it. I will also have the ability up here, I could say copy this video. So if I go here, I can copy this video and I might want to copy it to my own area. So these are my files as Alex. I'm going to copy the video. So I want to copy that video to my own OneDrive. I can also download this as an MP4. So if I want to download this as a copy, I hit the three dot menu and choose download. And I will say, yep, yeah, it doesn't have the transcript or chapters, but I will hit download. And now in my browser, it's starting to download that file as an MP4 right there. Now let's switch over to the brand new Stream Mobile. Here on iOS, I'm going to launch the app. Here's the new interface. Bunch of videos right here, all my videos. I can filter and check out shared videos or meetings. I can also go to the top panel and scroll back and forth to see all the different recommended videos. And there's a bunch here. Now I'm going to scroll down. I'm going to launch a video. Let's launch Reflect in Teams. Now I can play that video. So here's the playing right inside a stream. I can do things like hit forwards and backwards 10 seconds. I can change the playback quality. I can also go in and speed it up. So if I'm listening, I wanna to go to like 1.5 speed mode. It'll speed up that video, even picture in picture. I have that, I can move it around the screen so I can watch and listen to that video while I'm doing other things. You can tap the three dot menu on any video and say add to favorites. So I'm gonna add this one to a favorites and I'll show the favorites in just a second. So that's been added. There's also a nice search built in. You can search for your videos. And the last thing is, is that you have this library. I'm going to tap here. Here are all my favorites. I can also see all of my videos and these are all my videos. So a whole new experience in stream. If you want to keep up with all the latest Microsoft updates and tips and tricks, subscribe to my channel and then just ring the bell so you get all the latest videos that I post.